Toyota just doubled down on flying taxis. On May 27th, Joby Aviation confirmed that Toyota has completed the second half of its massive investment in the electric air taxi startup. Let's take a look for today's video. Here's the core news. Joby Aviation has officially closed the second tranche of Toyota's previously announced funding round. This comes just months after Toyota initially pledged to invest $500 million in the U.S.-based advanced air mobility firm. The plan, which was first revealed back in October 2024, laid out a two-part installment, $250 million each. Joby received the first half late last year, and this week, they confirmed that the second half has now been delivered. With this latest capital injection, Toyota's total investment in Joby stands at a hefty $894 million, making it the largest single shareholder in the company. From a financial standpoint, the market loved this. Joby's stock surged 25% intraday following the announcement. That kind of spike signals serious investor confidence, not just in the funding, but in the broader future of electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, or EVTOLs. Now, let's break this down a bit more. Joby's flagship aircraft, the S4, is designed for urban air mobility, quiet, all-electric, capable of vertical takeoff and landing, and aimed at revolutionizing short-distance travel. But here's where things get interesting. According to Joby's official 8K financial filing with U.S. regulators, Toyota isn't just putting up cash. They may soon get into operations. That's right. Joby hinted that Toyota could launch air taxi services in Japan once the S4 aircraft is certified and receives all required regulatory approvals from Japan's aviation authorities. So this isn't just an investment. It's a potential pathway to a whole new business model for Toyota. Japan, by the way, is not new territory for Joby. In November 2024, the company transported one of its test aircraft from California to Japan, not for flights, but to showcase it to local partners, aviation officials, and potential customers. The message was clear. Joby sees Japan as a strategic launch market. There had also been talk of demonstration flights at the 2025 Osaka Expo, but those plans haven't yet materialized. Still, with Toyota's support and Japan's openness to urban air mobility solutions, there's growing anticipation that we could see air taxis zipping above Japanese cities before long. So, what do you think? Is this the future of urban mobility, and can Toyota really lead in the air like they have on the roads? Leave a comment below with your thoughts. Thank you.